Now that our site is complete, it's time for us to get it online. And how can we use InView to do this? With extreme ease. First, open the HTML document that we wish to publish. Then, go up to the toolbar and click the Publish button. Since this is the first time we've tried to publish to the internet, we're going to need to set up InView with the settings of our web host. That's why the first thing we see is the settings screen in the publishing dialog box. In the settings screen, there's some information we need to input before we can upload to the web. First, we enter a name for our site into the top field. For our example, let's call our site Portfolio. This will enable us to associate these publishing settings with this particular site. That way, if we end up creating a new site later on, we'll be able to define new settings for it. Next, we have to enter in the future URL of our website where our website will eventually be found. If we've registered a domain name, then that domain name will be the URL. In our example, the URL is the address http www.frankmultimedia.com. If we haven't registered a domain name, though, our URL is probably the name of our web host, followed by the name of our web space. We should check with our hosting provider to be sure about this. Now we need to enter in our FTP information. In the space for our publishing address, enter in our FTP address. Follow that with our username and password. If you're the only one who uses your computer, you might consider selecting the Save Password checkbox. But if your computer isn't secure, you might reconsider this idea. You don't want to give anyone easy access to your site. Now that we've established all our settings for publishing, click the Publish tab at the top of the dialog box to make page-specific adjustments. Here, we'll be able to choose the page title and the file name. If we've been saving our web page while we've been working, and hopefully we have been, then Enview will automatically enter in the page title and file name that we previously defined. Next, we should choose if the page we're publishing should go into the main directory of our site or a subdirectory. Because we've already mapped out our file structure, we should know the answer to that question already. If we will be putting this file in a subdirectory, type the name of the directory into the box. We'll leave this space blank because we'll be putting this file, our home page, in the main directory. Last, we should select whether or not we want to simultaneously upload images and other files our page might contain. Selecting this option means that both our images will be uploaded at the same time as our HTML documents, ensuring that we'll have no broken links later on. So let's select that checkbox. Below this option, we'll be asked to determine whether the images and other files we're uploading should go into the main directory or a subdirectory. Remember, the important thing about uploading our site is to make sure to preserve our file structure as we transfer our site from our computer to our web space. So if we've been keeping our images in a separate subdirectory, as we planned from the beginning, then we'll want to switch the radio button from Use Same Location as Page to Use This Site Directory. We'll then want to enter the name of our images subdirectory in the box below. Now we're all ready to go. Click the Publish button and a publishing status menu will pop up, showing the transfer status of our files. Once they're all done, go ahead and transfer the rest of our pages in the same way. Once everything's online, we'll want to look at our website on the internet to make sure that everything's working. But the beauty of having a publishing feature in our website authoring software is that it makes doing updates and fixes so simple. See, later on, if we want to fix a typo in our resume or add a photo to one of our albums, it's very easy to put those changes online. Just open the page in InView, then make our edits. Save the document, then hit the Publish button again. The page will re-upload using the settings we defined when we uploaded this page the first time. Didn't I say that would be easy? Darn right I did. And all thanks to InView.